Hey de ho! I'm gonna make something for dinner here, and um, I don't even know what to call it, so we're just gonna get started. I got this box of macaroni and cheese, and it's a it's a porcini mushroom truffle with aged cheddar, creamy mac and cheese. So I'm gonna use this and uh, add some other things to it and see if we can't turn it into a meal. So get my pan heating up, and um, I got some leftover little bits of bell pepper and a piece of an onion, some mushrooms I'm gonna chop up and throw in here. Get a little butter in the pan to get things going. And uh, get some of these veggies chopped up. I like to leave my onions and peppers and things of that nature in long strips because I find it's easier to get it on your fork uh, than when it's in little tiny dices. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, do what you like. But that's how I roll. Cut this pepper up. I've got a little bit of a orange one and a little bit left of a red one. mushrooms. They're already sliced, but I'm going to cut them a little bit smaller. Just because. And then I had bought a rotisserie chicken. And I honestly don't even remember what I did with the first part of it. I used the carcass to make bone broth, which is in another video. Hopefully you'll take a look at that. And um, anyway, I picked the meat off the carcass and put it in a storage container. So I'm going to use some of that in here also. And, um, you know, kind of turn this into a, a one-pot dinner. Uh, get these veggies just a little bit tender because I'm going to cook the pasta right in here. And, uh, so they don't, they're going to cook, you know, in the, in the pasta water, so they don't need to be but so tender to begin with, because they'll get, I don't know, probably 10 minutes of cooking. Of course, it's upside down. Uh, 12 minutes. So. You know, this, of course, the directions for this call for, you know, six quarts of water, but we're not going to do that because we're going to try to make it all come together as one cohesive thing here. So I'm going to put about two cups, maybe two and a half cups of liquid in here. And if I find that it needs a little more, I can add it later on. But that should be about right for the amount of pasta we got going here. So if you want to use chicken stock or something like that for the, the liquid, you know, that would be great too. That is just more flavor. But... The cheese sauce should be pretty tasty, so I doubt you really need it. So let's get a little agua. And a cup. Two cups. I'm going to go two and a half or so here. And if that's not enough to cover up the pasta, we can add a little bit more. Yeah, I think we're going to need a, maybe another half a cup. We can always drain it off at the end if we have to. But we don't want raw pasta. That's for sure. So we got that going. I wanted something to add a little bit of color, a little green in it. Ordinarily I put some spinach in there, but I, I don't have any. So we just won't do that. Put a B12 
decent amount of chicken in here. I don't think I'm going to use all of this because it's a lot. But, you know, whatever. If you want to buy some raw chicken and saute it in the pan first, that's perfectly good alternative to this rotisserie chicken. I just had one and I was looking for something to do. <clears throat> Let me answer this call and I'll get right back. Sorry about that. That was the little lady. She's been out of town on a business trip and I was trying to have this ready um, you know, before when she got back. She just called me and she's just on the downtown expressway here in Richmond so she's probably 15 minutes away and uh, should be pretty close to perfect timing. Anyway, she works hard, so I was trying to do this, have something nice ready for her. And um, you, know, you can't go wrong with a nice comforting pasta dish. So hopefully she'll enjoy it. And I'll let you know. All right, while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna pause this video. And we'll come back in a bit and let's see what it looks like. All right, we're back and uh, starting to come together here. The water is really absorbed into the pasta and I think we're gonna be okay on the, on the amount of water that's in here. This should finish absorbing and boil off the little bit that's left in here. And I, I mentioned earlier, I wanted to put a little pop of green in here with some spinach or kale or something like that. Didn't have any, but I did find, I had some of these leaves out of the center of a bunch of celery, so I'll throw those in there just to give it a little pop of green. The flavor will be nice too. And uh, just a tiny little bit of cilantro that I, that I had. And put that in there and make it look pretty. Boy, those, those celery leaves smell great. A lot of people throw those away, but I, I, I never do. Also, the tops off of carrots really taste nice. Believe it or not, and kind of tastes like carrots. <laughs> go figure. So, just about good to go here. Got a little foil packet of cheese that came in the kit for the, the mac and cheese. So, get ready to put that in here. And uh, let just a little bit more of this liquid cook off. So it's not, you know, soupy. Nobody wants soupy macaroni and cheese. But being that this is, you know, a one pot dish, being a little creamier than mac and cheese would be just fine. So just about there. Just a little bit of liquid left in the bottom. It's got a nice color to it. It looks like chicken broth, uh, or like a, a nice quality chicken broth. I guess the color came from a little bit of chicken that's in there, and maybe the uh, some from the vegetables. I doubt the seasoning. Well, there may have been a little bit of turmeric in, in there, so maybe that's giving it a little yellow color too. So here we go. Looking nice, smelling nice. So I'm going to open this little packet of foil. You know, I haven't used these little mac and cheese kits before. There's, there's a lot of cheese in this thing, way more than you need. When I do cook them just to eat as macaroni and cheese, I usually add some extra pasta, something we have in the cabinet, extra shells or whatever, uh, just to, so it's not quite so cheesy. <coughs> I know that doesn't sound right, but that's how it is in this house. All right, liquid's just about gone. I'll turn this heat way down. Get this cheese in here. Let's start with that. We can always add a little bit more. Get it stirred in. Real nice. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a little tickle in my throat. That's looking just about right. There we go. 
nicey nicey. Let me let you get a peekaboo at it. And I don't know how the color's gonna come through here, but it's a nice little one pot dinner with some box mac and cheese. Of course, it's a fancy mac and cheese. And just a, a few more ingredients. Make you a little quick and easy dinner. Have a good one.